We're joined now in studio by Dr. Lucy Jones. Thanks so much for coming in to talk to us. Oh, thanks for having me here. Tell me about the Tempo Project. It sounds so cool. It is. It's, I've had the greatest time. It's a place where we're bringing together climate scientists who understand what needs to be done to address the crisis with social scientists who understand the psychological barriers that are keeping us from acting, with musicians who know how to evoke emotion. Uh, and our goal is to create music, use the power of music to change the emotional climate about climate change. Nice. How did you come up with this idea? I came to see that what's coming from climate change is so much worse than anything that an earthquake could do. I really can't justify promoting a lot of earthquake safety measures if we won't deal with climate change. So the whole disaster process was moving me there. I spent a lot of time through that working with the psychologists in risk perception, starting to really understand what are drivers, how do you communicate about risk in a way that actually leads to action. And I'm a musician. It's a lot about data awareness. And the problem is data awareness doesn't lead to action. In fact, data awareness on the climate problem can lead to fear. Now, fear is a really good short-term motivator. <laughs> We're evolved to you know, learn to run away from the predator. But if it's a long-term problem with no short-term solution, and the only way you can stop being afraid is to not think about it. And so the more fear we get about climate change, actually we can be seeing an increase in denialism because it's the only way to cope with the fear. And, and sort of that awareness and that place to coming, how do we do this in a way, let's bring the psychologists in, help us understand which emotions we should be evoking, and how do we create music to do it? So how does bringing music in create the sort of climate to deal with climate change? Pride and hope are some of our most activating emotions. So we need to believe that our actions make a difference. We won't take action if we think it's a waste of time. But if we can do it in a group, we feel like we're part of it. That makes us more willing to undertake it. We feel more empowered. We feel... Uh, uh, Everything just becomes more feasible. And music is inherently a place where people come together. You know, when you play music together, you breathe together, obviously, if you're singing, right? You've got to phrase the music. You end up moving together. Your bows are going if you're playing a string instrument. Our brain waves literally line up when we play music together. So musical groups are already a strong community. And, and so there's one place, it's a prime area where we can get this to happen. But we need to be focusing on the type of music that gives us hope, that makes us believe we can make a difference, and that s helps us connect to other people and move forward. This is the stuff that I, I really care about. But we've just recently, and actually because of AGU, finally got some compositions. Fantastic. So we, we've been talking about it, we've been thinking about it, we've had these great composers and, and other musicians, but performers that have been part of this. So what do you hope people are going to take away from this project? People who hear it, people who participate in it? The people who participate, we are, we are trying to create a community. We're also developing resources from, for them, from the psychologists and from the, the physical scientists. Here are actions that will make a difference. How do you undertake this? Here are the emotions we need to be thinking about as we talk about this. Um, and you know, I hope scientists hearing this might be interested. They can, they can sign up through my website to be part of the group and we'll like be able to connect them if we have musicians coming in from the same area. Um, a lot of choirs are now putting on climate concerts. We hope to get them to think about the positive aspects as we do this, but then also connect them with scientists who can create reality. I mean, the science alone isn't the solution, right? The science is necessary but insufficient to move society towards that action. But it is necessary. It's the basis on which we build all of the rest of it, as long as people can understand it. So we're hoping to engage scientists that want to be part of this, that want to work with the artists and musicians. And I think what we add to a very large community that's already doing this is really bringing in the social sciences to understand the direction that we need to. It's not just that we need to tell stories. We need to think about which story we tell. Dr. Lucy Jones, thank you so much for coming in today. Thank you.